Well, hello there and welcome to episode 125 of the Unfuck Your Biz podcast. As you know, the past few weeks I've been doing something a little bit different and I've had some guests joining me on my normally solo Tuesday shows because I've been saving up a lot of awesome questions from our Facebook group, Braden's Besties, and challenging my guests to answer them on the fly, which I think is super fun. So today on the episode, I'm joined by Keila Hill Trawick, who is the owner of Little Fish Accounting in Washington, DC. Keila, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yes, you uh, are very welcome, but thanks to you for coming on the show. So we are going to get into your full intro when I have you on my Thursday episode of the show, which is going to be in a couple of weeks. So this is kind of like a highlight for everyone of what's to come. Are you ready for your question? Absolutely. Okay. So I saved this one just for you because I thought you would be able to answer it better than I could. So this question comes from Kate. And Kate says, I'm clueless when it comes to quote unquote inventory. I don't know what items are considered supplies, capital, depreciation. I also struggle when I do my town property tax filings because they want to tax furniture, my computer, and other dual items. So I know that's a very loaded question. <laughs> I'm going simpl- to simplify it a little bit. And just share that I myself have a hard time explaining what the differences are between supplies, cost of goods, and inventory. So if you could kind of break that down in as simplest terms as possible, I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. So think of supplies as what you use to make the thing, right? So if we use jewelry as an example, the little pliers that you get, um, the the items that you use to put it together. I don't know anything about this field, but these (laughs) are the things probably. (laughs) Exactly. Anything that you're using to actually make the item, but doesn't go out with the item when it gets sold, consider that supplies. When we think about inventory, inventory is the thing that you're going to sell. So if we're talking about jewelry again, at, by the time you finish making the bracelet, the bracelet itself is inventory. And all of the components that make that up, the beads, the gold, the string, the metal bar, whatever the things that are that go into this bracelet, you're going to kind of add all of those up and they sit as your inventory cost. Now, the thing to know about inventory is that it's an asset. It's not an expense. So you make the thing and you kind of store it. You hold it on your balance sheet. And then when you sell it, you get to expense the cost of that item, hence the name cost of goods sold. The way that you're able to take advantage of that expense is that when you sell the bracelet for $100 and it costs you $50 to make it, that $50 is allowed to be expensed as a cost of goods sold. Okay, that's beautiful. I don't think I've ever heard it explained that simply before, so that's really awesome. So basically, when you buy the item, it's inventory. Once that item gets put into a good and the good is sold, then it becomes a cost of good. Right. And I think a lot of people get confused because they want to expense the inventory. They're like, I bought it and I pay for it. So now it's an expense. But the IRS wants to make sure that you're not hoarding inventory and being able to basically call all of it as an expense, even though it wasn't actually up for quote sale. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I always like, whenever I have these kind of questions, I always ask myself, why does this make sense in the eyes of the IRS? And then when I can put myself in their shoes, it helps me like learn and remember the rule better. Okay. Love that. You knocked that one out of the park. So can't wait to see how we do on the next episode because we're going to do two more of these. So everyone stay tuned. Uh, Keila will be back, I believe in two weeks in two Tuesdays from now. To answer another question the following Tuesday and then that Thursday, we're going to do a longer format episode, which is going to be super fun. So Keila, thanks so much for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon. Of course. <laughs>